Hi, I'm Jody with the Mount Baldy Ski Patrol. This skills drill is going to be alignment of limbs. Um, to remind you, whenever we're working on an injured guest, even though we don't see blood, we put our gloves on. So I'm showing you here to remind you so you don't forget when you're actually working on someone. In this situation, we have an injured guest who's not in position one, and we want to get Johanna here into position one. The tendency would be just to say, okay, well, I'm going to straighten her out. And so I'm going to just move her like this and get her in position one. Well, that's not how we move a patient because if there's an injury, we want to be very careful when we move to determine what, what's going on. So we move one section or one joint at a time. So if I'm going to push Johanna over, I'm going to first move from the knee down to the foot, like this. Don't help me, Johanna. Okay, now I have a straight leg. Now I can move the whole leg down. The same thing with this other leg. First, I'm going to grab on the, uh, the top and the bottom. I'm going to straighten the bottom joint. Now I have a straight leg, and then I move the whole leg over. Same thing. Now, when I want to move up to her arm here, I wouldn't step over her like this because oh. what if I happen to trip and fall on her? So whenever I move around a patient, I walk completely around the patient. On your final exam, we'll flunk you if you step over a patient. So I'm going to move her arm. Again, I take this lower part of her arm, I straighten it. Now I have a straight arm, and now, gosh, I can, this is, the shoulder joint is a ball and socket, so there's several options here. In this situation, I'm going to just grab her whole arm and move it down. Same thing over here, grab her whole arm and move it down. Now, she's not completely straight. If I was going to put her on a backboard, I would, I would need to straighten out her legs and hips a little bit, but that I'm going to need some additional patrollers to do that, but basically what we would do is we would not simply slide her sideways. Let's assume that she's over like this, and so I'm out of alignment, and I would use other patrollers to stabilize her, and I would do a lateral move. That means a long, wise move. It's actually an axial move. Is it an axial? Sorry. <laughs> I do an axial move. I'm, I'm going to do a long, wise move, okay? So I would move her, I would pull her, this way and 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 let her straighten out that way okay and I can't do it with just like scooting up like that yeah that's right Johanna like scooting up like that so that you're not if you were to move sideways then you would be moving the spinal column sideways which if there's a problem with it would cause problems and that's it that's really all there is to do with moving what do you have to do if you have to do it by yourself if I and you to have to extricate her out. How would you I extricate her out? If I extricate Johanna um, and I need to make an axial move, I would pull her. I would do a, um, a drag. And I would not pull her this way. Because if I'm pulling her this way, then, then her neck can be tweaked around. So what I would do is I would come down here, I'd grab her feet, and I would pull her this way. <laughs> to get her out. So thank you very much. That's how we align and move a patient.